Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft mod tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use pin particles and gain Ant-Man and the Wasp's powers. So, first thing is, for all of this, you need boiler and furnace generator. So how you actually make the boiler and the furnace generator is... Um... One second, let me find it. There. Furnace generator is made like this, with an LV capacitor made like this, and the boiler is made like this, with an LV capacitor made like this, and the basic circuit made like this. So, once you have these, what do you need to do? Now, to get growth particles, you need, as you can see, here, if I click on this, the grow particles, in the boiler, you need one water bucket, one lead dust, one palladium dust, and one bone meal, and that gets you 500 grow pin particles, which is half a bucket. So, let me put these in here. Grab the water bucket. Put water in there. And... As you can see, I have 500 now. Let me quickly get two buckets and I'll show you what you do with this. So, what can you do with the growth pin particles? So, first thing is for the actual Ant Man, you'll need it for the suits. But what you can also do is if I take that and I take one, two, three, four. And go to the crafting table. Four of ingots, a bucket of grow pin particles, and I get grow discs. And the bucket. Um, yeah, I was wearing these lab coat and the safety goggles because I thought it fit with doing all of this. So now let's do the same with the pin particles, the strength particles. Sorry, so. And three, four. So now with this, I make the shrink particles. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to make is Ant Man suit T1. So, what you'll need is all of this stuff. Yes. This does look like a lot, but you need two red stained glass, one bone meal, eight ink sacks, 14 leather, two glowstone dust, two rose red dye, one gray dye, two co 22 copper wiring, two in intertium, which that is made with one osmium dust and two iron dust, it gets you three intertium, and then you just smelt it. Now, 10 redstone, 1 silver plate, 3 lead ingots, 2 copper plates, 3 palladium plates, 4 iron bars, 4 iron nuggets, a bucket, 16 iron and 44 iron plates. So, let's go step by step. What you do, let's try and make the helmet first. So, for the helmet, you can see that you have everything you need except for a filter and antenna and the ant antenna. So, get the filter, which is made easily enough like that. You have a filter now. Then you get the ant antenna, which you need two EMP communication devices. So if I do this and then one, two, I now have those two. And now if I do two, I have two ant antenna. And now I can just easily make the helmet. Next thing is chest piece. Now for this, you need a regulator. And for the regulator, you need a growth size coil. Make that. Then shrink size coil like that then you also need an advanced circuit which for that you need a basic circuit and you also need two LV capacitors now once you have all of that you can make a regulator quickly make the advanced circuit now you can make the regulator 
Then you need two red reinforced tripolymer, which if you see my previous videos, you know that you need these for pretty much every suit. And then two black reinforced tripolymer. Now another shrink size coil. And you're good to go with the chest piece. Now the pants. So for this you need the two more red reinforced tripolymer and four black reinforced tripolymer. And then make it just like that. Pretty simple. And then the boots is just that. That. And easy as that. So, let me take off my lab coat and such and just chuck in there. You're Ant-Man now. So, what you can do is if you click X, take off the, the visor and not the most smooth animation, but I guess this is the tier 1 suit, so... Yeah, look. Um, now, what you do is click C. Oh, sorry, I don't have a shrink particle, uh, pin particles. If you click shift over this, you can see that I'm missing particles. So if I put this in here, not down there, down here, I now have a thousand shrink and a thousand growth. Let me quickly just make two more buckets just so I can fill up the water easier. And now, And one, two, three. Okay. Now, if I right click this again, now I click C. And I shrunk. Now, one of the first things that you do notice when I shrunk is my view has greatly decreased. Now, before showing you to grow, which is this regulator, what the regulator is pretty much is if you take it out. I now no longer can grow or shrink anymore. I'm clicking V right now. I'm not growing. But if I click B, put the regulator back, and I click V again, I grow. Now, as this is the tier 1 suit, I can't grow giant mode yet, only tiny. So, that's pretty much this suit. And if you go here, you can see these. Also, I forgot to mention in my previous videos, but what you can do is if you actually click on one of these and then you shift and then double sorry just double click it hides it so if there's stuff that you don't want hide it like that and then the final thing is this is if i click n i get the shrunken suit here in my hand and then i just have to right click it again and it's good so oh i don't have enough shrink particle shrink pin particles that's Sad, I didn't know that you have to use that for those. Anyways. On to tier 2. So, the tier 2, you will need the tier 1. Which, yeah. So, you can either make two tier 1s, which actually three, because you'll need that for the tier 3. Or, you can make one tier 1 and then just upgrade it to the tier 2. Now, you also need all of these ingredients I have here. And then just start making so here you need another filter easy make a helmet for the second suit here just a grow coil pretty easy and if you understand this one lets you become giant and you need an extra grow coil in this that's to make to make you be able to go giant now pants and last but not, but not least, the boots, tier 2 boots, I forgot to make this. Um, yes, you'll need two black reinforced tripolymer, and then you get that. So, once I put this all on, one of the first things you noticed is clicking X actually opens it the exact same, except that obviously the suit looks different. 
And if I just take the shield up, not the shield, sorry, the chest piece there, and that, and then put the chest piece here. And then do this again. Sorry for the tediousness of this. Um, yeah, but once I do that, just take here. So now this is 3,000 and 3,000. As you can see, I can go small like normal, go big. And then what I can also do again is go big, big mode. Now, what you do is, if you are big for a while, and by the way, you walk normally at normal speed, though the world seems to shake since you're massive, after a while of being this big, or you can also see underground, which is pretty cool, um, yeah, after a while of being big, you will notice that oh yeah clicking e you cannot see anything yet you will notice that you will faint uh i'll give this a minute and then i'll probably do a time lapse but if you're wondering why you faint just watch this clip here from the movie and that will explain to you why you faint i'm just gonna go to sleep now for five minutes i just need five minutes five minutes There, you see this happens, and then you start fainting, so you can grow smaller to save yourself. That was not meant to happen. Uh, let me quickly go big. And somehow... Oh, I died, I respawned. No, I didn't die. Yeah, my stuff's over there. Let me quickly just get there. Okay, and I'm here. And as you can see, what it does is it respawns you, I think. So... You may be thinking, click B, normal regulator, right? That's wrong. Click B, and you'll see here, a size bar. So, this is the default big size, and this is default small. Let's say I only want to become about, um, yeah, about a block's height. 0 0.49, that's good. Now, I click out of it, and as you can see here, it shows 0 0.49 instead of 0 0.1. Now, if I click C... I'm just smaller than a block. I don't know why my auto jump is on. That's annoying. I'm just smaller than... Well, actually, since chests are uh, the full pixels there. I'm just smaller than a normal block. And if I click B again, which I go that, and then I want to only become 6.5 blocks here, and I'm not as big as I would otherwise be. So, what you can do is with that, and it's pretty cool. Now, putting Ant-Man back there, let's go to tier 3. Now, tier 3, you need this stuff, and make the tier 3 helmet, which looks the best, with a server monitor, which is made like that, pretty easy. And again, a filter, you need a filter in every one of the helmets. Make the helmet. For the chest piece, you need four red reinforced tripolymer, and you need a grow coil, pants just made like that, and the boots made with made like that. I did something wrong, didn't I? I didn't do the chest. That's silly of me. Um. Okay. Now I've done the chest. And. Now I've done the boots. So. Wearing this. Everything's normal. Also I forgot to mention. Clicking and shrinks the suit for the second one like normal. The one main difference to this is click X 
and your helmet actually retracts a lot better. And B is the normal regulator. V, I believe you can actually go. Let me just. And just make a bunch more buckets just for our sake and for your sake and for my sake. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. Also, I forgot to mention what I can actually do is since this will let me quickly grab two buckets and just grab a bucket of shrink particles and here a bucket of grow particles if i place the grow particles um a smart idea would probably be to do this and take that out and that before i do any of this stuff now if i jump into grow particles start growing and then I can shrink and if I jump to shrink particles well I shrink now this is a stupid idea but with any of the suits let's say you open the mask while school ow you start getting hurt not a good idea now as tier 3 you can also go massive so tier 2 lets you go to control what size you want to go to and tier 3 lets you uh like an upgrade of tier 1 so now that's it with, with ant-man suits let's go to the wasp suit who pretty much the same as previously mentioned but cooler a bit because she has an extra two abilities so, wasp's helmet, made like this, need a filter like always, and you need two EMP communication devices, and then two antennae. Helmet done. Next, chest piece. I need a regulator, oh god, that's a pain to make. I'm just going to make two shrink coils quickly. And then regulator, and let me quickly make it a grow coil. This, and then finally the regulator. Now what I can do is this, just get all of those, and get all of those, make the chest piece, and now the boots are the simplest with the leggings second place to simplest now just gonna put that in there so I can grab this and in there now you may see there are a few more abilities you have a laser beam what things a laser beam, uh, just a laser. Wasp stings. You also have normal regulator. And as you can see, you have the wings. If you click X, it has small wings. You may be wondering, how do you get the wings? Well, actually, also, the wasp cannot grow bigger than this, like the tier one. Now, how you get the wings is if you zoom small, then you see here, I have flight. And I'm the wasp, I can fly, and it is actually very cool. It's kind of at the same speed of Superman and Captain Marvel flight, just minimized because, I mean, she's she's small. Well, you're small. Also, like always, don't open your mask, it's not a good idea. And then, you can shoot stuff. So, let me grow bigger. Now, shrink disc and grow disc. They do exactly what you think they do, just to mobs. And I think other players too. So if I summon 
summon a horse. And you have to be, if it's something right clickable like this, you don't want to be there. So you have to be kind of far away. I chucked the disc at it and it shrunk. Now you chuck the growth disc and it grows. And you can even make it huge if you want. Now I believe they deal the same damage. So if I do summon zombie. Okay, that did about half a heart. Now if I do big zombie. And then if I do small zombie. Oh, nope. Small does a lot more damage. Oh yeah, true. Because ants do 50 times. Can hold 50 times away from all that. Yeah. Also, as small, you can jump a whole block in one jump. I don't have enough shrink particles. Just take my word for it, because I'm too lazy to go and make all this now. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is this is the end of all what we've done so far. But as you can see, I've built a structure here. It is beautiful. It, it's, it's extremely ugly. But if I take this stuff from in here... And I'm going to make structure shrinker. Sh sh structure shrinker. Okay. Now I need one LV capacitor, a shrink size coil, and a grow coil, another shrink coil, two of these. One of these. And fan circuit. And finally you can make the regulator. Now with the regulator, just make the structure shrinker. Now, structure shrinker. I'm going to put this here. Now as the name suggests, you can shrink stuff. Now, if I'm just going to quickly... Do this you only need shrink particles for this if I remember correctly okay I think that should be enough for now this you need power and shrink particles so do that and let me just quickly I don't have a pickaxe of course I have to put my name okay now I mind this that's it that was a nice bug put this here put that there it starts powering now on the actual website you need, I believe it says 10,000, so, ten thousand power I meant, and you can, now the bounding box shows you a small, uh, a red box, now if you use these, configure your size, it does that, so I'm going to have to go into the negatives. And, yep, that's as big as I want that way. I want it to capture the entire, that's a bit too tall probably. And then, this entire thing. So I'm now realizing that I should have put this facing that way, but oh well. Yep, it's capturing all of this quite nicely. Now, as you can see, 5,000 particles, I think I only need 1,000. Over 10,000 power, which is FE, and I click shrink. Now, as you can see, shrunken structure. I pick this up, I have shrunken structure in my hand. Now, what I can do is take this, and let's say I want to move my house up um let's say all the way over 
all the way over here. Yep, I know, very far. Now, what you need is you need a grow disc, far enough away so you don't pick it up, chuck it on it, it will build, and it will automatically place. And as you can see, yep, I only used 1,000 here, yeah, I used 10,000 there. And your house is as good as new in its new house, in this new area. So that's pretty much it with the powers and all the pim tech and all that. I'm now realizing that it left, it kept my floor here, so next time I need to think and plan for that as well. But it's pretty simple, and you can, if you feel like it, move. Oh, stylish. <laughs> if you feel like it, you can just move the floor manually, which is really easy since it's a floor. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you've watched this far and you've enjoyed, please consider hitting the like and subscribing. It's It'll help me out a ton. Um, and if you have any questions about any of the mods whatsoever, just um, ask me in the comments or join my Discord server and ask me there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.